We have said that Blazor is a component-based framework, which means that a component is the main building block of an ASP.NET Core Blazor application. And per definition, a component is an element of UI such as a page, dialog, or data entry form. And this is the official definition from Microsoft. But to understand components better, let's go to Visual Studio and see them in action. In here, go to Solution Explorer, and in the Pages folder, we are going to add a new component. So right click in here and then go to Add, then New Item and search in the options in here for the Razor component. I'm going to name this component Parent Component and make sure that you start the component name with a capital letter. So Parent and then dot .Razor extension. Click Add to create a component. A component in Razor has three main sections. So let us go to an existing component in Solution Explorer, go to the counter, for example. The first section is the routing section of this component. In here, we get to define the URL how we want our component to be accessed. Then the next section is the HTML markup section. In here, we get to write all the HTML code combined with the C Sharp one, and this section is the section that user gets to see in the browser. The last one is the code section, and in here we write all the components logic. Now, let us go to our parent component and define the route, because that's the only section that's missing. So, in the parent.razor file, I'll just press enter two times and write in here at page. And the way I want to access this component is by writing slash parent. And that's all we need to do in here. Now, let us go back to the Solution Explorer and add this component as part of the URL. For that, go to Share and then NavMenu.Razor. I'll just copy these lines and then paste them down here. Change the text in here from Fetch Data to Welcome. And the href is going to be Parent. So let us actually change the text in here to welcome parent and save the changes. Let us run the app to see the result. Now that the app ran successfully, we can see in here that we have another option, the welcome parent. If we click this option, we are going to be redirected to the parent component because in here we can see the parent text and we see that the URL is changed to the slash parent. Now, let us close the browser and go back to our app. In here, go to the parent Razor component. In here now, let us create another route, but now this route is going to be a route with parameters. So for that, I'll just write in here page, then inside double quotes, slash parent, and then slash inside curly brackets, we are going to define the route parameter placeholder. And we are going to name it first name. Now, for this route parameter to work, we need to define a parameter inside the code section in our component. So, let us write in here prop, the short code to create a property. This is going to be of type string, and the name is going to be first name. Now, it's important that the name you provide in here is the same as the name you provide up here. And for this property to be known as a parameter in this component, you need to use the parameter attribute. So, parameter, and that's all you need to do. Now, inside the h3, let us change the text to welcome, and then at first name. So, this way we have completed all the binding inside this parameter. Now, let us go to the nav menu, and then Scroll down in here to the parent. I'll just write in here slash and then use my GitHub username, which is e truppia. Save the changes and I'll just save the parent razor and run the app one more time. So now when we go to the welcome parent, we are going to see the 
welcome and the username which is coming from the route. Now in here let us go to the welcome parent and in here you can see that we have the itrupia value which is coming from the route. If you change the route value to let's say abc and then press enter here you are going to see the abc value. But in Blazor it's possible to render child components inside the parent component. So let us close the browser and go back to Visual Studio. And in here now let us create another component which we are going to render inside this component which is the parent.razor component. In here let us go to Solution Explorer and then in the Pages folder right click, add a new item, then choose the Razor component and we are going to name this component child component because we are going to render this component inside a parent one. So let's name this component child.razor. Then click add. In here we don't need to define the route because we are going to render this component from a parent component. So in here I'll just write prop to create a property. This is going to be of type string and this will be used for the first name. Let us create another one prop of type string. Let us name it last name. Now in here let us modify the UI so I'll just remove all the HTML, create a div tag and inside this div we are going to display an h1 header and inside this header we are going to display the first name, so first name and the last name. Now this configuration would work if you are going to use the child.razor component as a single component but if you are going to render this component from a parent component then you need to define these properties as parameters for these values and to define them as parameters we are going to use the parameter attribute so let us write it in here parameter and then down here parameter as well now let us save the changes and go to the parent.razor components just down here, I'll use an hr tag and then in here let us just write loading from child component and here we are going to use the child component. To use the child component you can simply open a tag, type the component name and that's it. But since this component has two parameters we are going to define the parameters as well. So the first name is going to be let's say my first name and the last name is going to be my last name. Let us save the changes and run the application. So now in here we can see that we have the parent component and after the hr tag we are loading the child component and the values for the child component are my first name and last name. Let us now close the browser and go to Visual Studio and make some other changes. Inside the code, we are going to define a list of child data. So in here, I'll just type prop. The type is going to be child data. And the property name is going to be children. Now, to the child data, we are going to assign a new list of child data. And inside here, we are going to create the object. Now, let us go and create a model for the child data. So I'll copy this value, go to Solution Explorer, then inside data folder, right click, go to add a class. We are going to name this class child data and click the add button. In here we are going to define two properties. So prop the string first name and another one for the last name. So I'll just type in here last name. Let us save the changes in here and go back to the razor component. Now for us to be able to use the child data, we are going to add a reference to the child data model. So for that I'll just type in here at using and then just data. So we see that the error in here is gone. Inside the new list we are going to create 
two new objects. So new child data. Then inside the child data, we are going to define the first name. Let's say just first one. And the last name is going to be, let's say, last one. And let us copy this value and paste it. Change the first to two and the last name to last two. We see that we get an error and that's right because we are assigning a list of data to a child data. So let us change the response type to list of child data and also change the name in here to children. Let us save the changes. Now scroll up before the code and in here we are going to use a for each loop. So for that I'll just type in here at for each and then var child in children and in here we are going to load the child component. So the first name is going to be the at child dot first name and the last name is going to be the at child dot last name. Let us now save the changes and run the application one more time. In here go to welcome parent. So now we can see that the first one is before the for each loop and the other children are coming from the for each loop. 